everyone and welcome back to Tales from the Green. This is our story space where we celebrate the rich and diverse culture here in Newington Green. My name is Emily and today's story is from the Brazilian rainforest where they speak lots of languages including Portuguese. So rather than hello I'm going to say bom dia and we're going to be singing a little song in Portuguese too. Now, how should we start today's story? It's very hot today in England, so I imagine being in the rainforest underneath all those beautiful trees would probably be quite cool. So let's start like that. Are you ready? Here we go. It was a cool day in the rainforest. The insects were buzzing and humming on the forest floor. Sleek jaguars stretched out on lower branches. Sleepy sloths oh, were swinging in the canopy. And right at the top of the trees, the parrots squawked and caught. And through the vast Amazon forest, there flowed the mighty Amazon River. Whoosh. Now a little boy named Zico came walking through the forest that day. He had his fishing rod over his shoulder and he was heading to the mighty river to catch fish. Now when he got there, he found a good spot where a tree bent its branches down into the water. Zico climbed up the tree and he sat on a branch and he cast his fishing rod way, way out into the mighty river. Whoosh! And Zico sat on his branch fishing and singing a little song. Caranguejo na e peixe, caranguejo peixe. Caranguejo so e peixe na e xenji tamare. Fama, 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 fi, fi, fi. Rodo, 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 caranguejo peixe. Fama, 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 fi, fi, fi. Rodo, 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 caranguejo peixe. But in the darkness of the bushes, someone was listening. A greedy old witch called Ceci. She had long greasy hair, a huge hooked nose, rotten and broken teeth and long stinky fingernails. She saw the shadow of a boy in the water and she thought he was swimming. Ceci had a fishing net over her shoulder. She dipped her smelly toe into the river brrr, and then she waded in. When she saw the shadow swimming in the water, she raised her fishing net up high. <laughs> a boy for tea. Come to me, my fishy fish. You will make a tasty dish. And then she threw her net over the shadow. One, <laughs> two, three, gotcha! <laughs> oh. But of course, there was nothing in the net. The wet witch heard laughter coming from the tree and she looked up to see Zico. <laughs> and she was not happy at all. You there, boy in the tree, come down here. I want my tea. But Zico shook his head. No way. Go away, nasty witchy woo. Then I shall send my stinging wasps to come and get you. <laughs> Zico, up in the tree, heard a, a buzzing, a droning sound getting louder and louder. Bzzz, 
you, Zico looked, and there was a black shimmering cloud floating up the river, getting nearer and nearer. The stinging wasps swarmed around Zico in the tree, who broke off a branch to swish them away. Are you ready? Here we go. Swish, swish, go away. Nasty wasps, go away. Swish, swish, go away. Nasty wasps, go away. <gasps> Finally, the wasps flew away and Zico sighed with relief. <gasps> Phew! But Sessie the witch was angry and she jumped up and down in the river. No, no, Menino! You cannot escape me! Oh, bullet ants! Oh, bullet ants! Come and climb the tree! <laughs> Zico heard a strange rustling, ticketing sound all around. And he looked down and an army of bullet ants were making their way up the tree. Bullet ants with their antennae flicking and their sharp pincers clicking, coming up the tree to bite and to sting him. Oh no, thought Zico, bullet ants. The ants came nearer and nearer and Zico had no choice but to jump from the tree into the mighty river. One, two, three, whee! Splash! Zico landed in the river and quick as a flash, the stinky witch threw her fishing net over him. Ha <laughs> Now I've got you! <laughs> the nasty witch threw the net over her shoulder, got out of the river and started to make her way back to her cave in the forest. Zico struggled and wriggled in the fishing net. Nasty witch, will you let me go or not? Oh no, said Sessie, you're going in my cooking pot. <laughs> She walked all the way through the forest until she found her cave. And when she got there, she threw down the fishing net with Zico wriggling inside, just outside the cave. And then off she went to find firewood for her fire. Well, Zico pulled at the string of the net. He tugged at the string of the net. He bit at the string of the net, but he could not escape. So in the end, he shouted and shouted, let me out, let me out, won't someone let me out, please? Now it just so happened that the smelly, greedy witch, Sessie, had a daughter called Anna. And when Anna heard Zico shouting and shouting, she came out of the cave and saw the small boy tangled up in the fishing net. She released him from the net and then she told him how to escape from her mother, the witch. Run away into the wood or she will eat you up for good. Take these baskets made from palm. They will keep you safe. Anna, who was kind-hearted, explained to Zico that what he should do is throw one of the baskets over his shoulder if he heard the witch coming to get him. Zico said thank you. He took the two baskets and then he began to run through the forest. Here we go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. But soon he heard Sessy the greedy witch coming up behind him. She may have been fat, she may have been old, but she was fast. Here I come, here I come, here I come. And Sessy reached out her long stinky fingernails to grab Zico, but just at that moment Zico remembered Anna's words and threw one of the baskets over his shoulder. Woo! The basket hit the witch. Ow! The witch hit the ground. Boomph! And 
the basket filled up with the most delicious fruit. And that greedy witch, she could not help herself. She climbed into the basket and she started eating all of the delicious fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, oh, oh. yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Until her belly was full. And then she looked around for Zico. But he was running away as fast as he could. Here we go. Run, 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 running all the way through the forest. But very soon again, Zico heard the sound of Sessie the witch coming after him. She was fat, greedy and old, but she was fast. Here I come. <laughs> here I come. Oh, here I come. And she reached out her long stinky fingernails and was just about to grab Zico when he threw the other basket over his shoulder. Woo! The basket hit the witch. Ow! The witch hit the ground. Oof! And the basket filled up with fresh fish. And that greedy witch couldn't help herself at all. She climbed into the basket and started to devour the fresh fish. Oh, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Until all the fish were gone. And her belly was big and then she rolled out of the basket with fish bones and fish scales all stuck in her rotten teeth and she looked around for Zico. But Zico was running as fast as he could through the forest and the witch came after him. Now Zico had been running away from that witch through the forest for a long time and he was getting tired. Run, run, run. Oh, run, 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 oh, run, run, run. And the witch behind him, she was so full of fruit and fish that she'd slowed down too. Here I come, here I come, here I come. Run, run, run. Suddenly, Zico heard the sound mighty river on the other side of the trees. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And it gave him energy and he ran through the trees out onto the banks of the river Amazon and he saw two Jabiru storks with their long necks, long legs and pointed beaks. He ran over to the storks. Oh, Jabiru, Jabiru, you must take me up high. The witch is coming to get me. Please fly me to the sky. And he jumped on the back of one of the storks, spread its great wings and it took off into the sky carrying Zico and they flew all the way down the river. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sessy, the greedy witch, came staggering out of the trees and she saw Zico on the stalk flying down the river. So she jumped on the other Jabiru stalk. Jabiru, Jabiru, raise me up high. I must catch my dinner. Take me to the sky. And that poor Jabiru stalk staggered up into the air with the weight of the greedy witch and began to fly down the river after Zico. <laughs> but Sessy the greedy witch had eaten far too much fruit and far too much fish. And she was too heavy for the poor stork that began to sway this way and sway that way until eventually Sessy the greedy witch fell off the stork and tumbled down, 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 down into the open jaws of an Amazonian crocodile. And the crocodile swallowed her with one great big gulp. Oh, then the crocodile sank down to the bottom of the river. And that 
was the end of Sissy. Meanwhile, the Jabiru stork carrying Zico set him down next to his tree. Phew, thought Zico, thank goodness. And he turned around and made his way home through the forest, listening to the buzzing and humming of the insects on the forest floor, seeing the beautiful sleek coat of the jaguar sleeping on the low branches, seeing the swaying of the sloths in the canopy and hearing the squawking and cawing of the parrots in the treetop. Caranguejo na e peixe, caranguejo peixe, caranguejo so e peixe na e xenji tamare. Fama, 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 pi, 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 hudo, 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 caranguejo peixe. Fama, 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 pi, 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 hudo, 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 caranguejo peixe. I hope you enjoyed today's story, which was called Zico and the Greedy Witch, a story from the Brazilian rainforest. I love the way that Zico and the witch had that very intense chase through the rainforest. And I hope you liked singing our little Portuguese song too. Well, that's all we have for this week, but you know where to find us. So make sure you join me, Emily, next week for more Tales from the Green. Bye-bye.